Jiu-Jitsu athletes. These are the best kettlebell exercises that you need to be doing to get stronger on the mat so you can win more matches and get injured less. These unique exercises are guaranteed to help you maximize your strength for Jiu-Jitsu, improve explosive power, as well as decrease your risk of injury. You're gonna need these kettlebell exercises to improve your athleticism on the mat so you are better prepared to perform your best in training and in competition. Plus, stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to warn you about the worst kettlebell exercises that you may be doing, which could actually be hurting your jujitsu progress. <sighs> What's going on, guys? My name is Josh Setledge, and I'm the BJJ Strength Coach, and let's talk about kettlebell exercises. Exercise number one, the kettlebell swing. The kettlebell swing is one of the most popular kettlebell exercises in strength and conditioning, and it's for a good reason. This exercise is amazing for helping you develop the strength in your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back, your abs, and even your grip. The movement of the kettlebell swing is excellent for increasing your ability to have explosive hip extension. Hip extension is the movement of violently throwing your hips forward and squeezing your glutes. You use hip extension on the mat when you redrop your opponent to the mat, pop your hips underneath your shoulders on a double leg takedown, as well as apply nasty top pressure from mount and stretch your opponent out when you have back control. Improving your hip extension ability is very important across all sports, especially in Jiu Jitsu. The kettlebell swing is also an amazing exercise in improving your ability to quickly absorb force and reproduce force. This is very important when it comes to developing speed that you can actually use in jujitsu, as well as increasing your overall physical resiliency so you can decrease your risk of injury on the mat. The more force you can quickly and safely absorb with an exercise like the kettlebell swing, the faster you'll be able to scramble to good position, shoot in for takedowns, and blow past your opponent's guard. Because the kettlebell swing is an explosive and power-based movement, it's a great exercise to include as part of your dynamic effort training. If you're doing the kettlebell swing, make sure you don't make this critical mistake that I see athletes make all the time. If you want to find out about that one mistake that you might be making, stick around to the end of this video and I'll be able to show you. Exercise number two, the kettlebell bottom up press. The bottom up kettlebell press is one of the more underrated and uncommon exercises in strength and conditioning, especially for jujitsu athletes. But it's an amazing exercise that's going to help you improve overall shoulder stability, grip strength, and overhead pressing strength. I've used the bottom up kettlebell press myself as well as had a ton of the athletes that I work with across the world mix it into their training so that way they can develop a crushing grip, very strong wrists, and bulletproof shoulders. Instead of doing a traditional kettlebell overhead press, flip the bell upside down and perform a bottom up kettlebell press. This makes the exercise much more difficult and really challenges your ability to have a strong grip and hold that kettlebell in a stable position. The strength that you develop in the bottom up kettlebell press will have a direct transfer and carryover into your Z press, which is one of the best barbell exercises that jujitsu athletes can be doing to improve their strength and performance on the mat. You can mix the kettlebell bottom up press as part of your warm ups or as part of your accessory work at the end of a workout. Exercise number three, the kettlebell drop lunge. This is a more advanced kettlebell exercise and may be a little bit difficult if you're just starting to use kettlebells in your training. However, once you develop the coordination and strength to do a proper kettlebell swing, this is where you can take things to the next level. The kettlebell drop lunge is a highly explosive and fast unilateral exercise which will help improve your coordination, stability, and power as an athlete. The kettlebell drop lunge is similar to the kettlebell swing and that it's going to help improve your ability to quickly absorb force and reproduce force. If you want to decrease your risk of injury on the mat by building up resiliency in your muscles, ligaments, and tendons, as well as increase your agility and speed on the mat, the kettlebell drop lunge is an amazing exercise that you can begin incorporating in your own jujitsu strength and conditioning. Because this is such a fast and explosive exercise, the kettlebell drop lunge is also a great exercise you can mix in as part of your dynamic effort training. Before you exit this video, I do wanna let you know about the two worst kettlebell exercises that you really should avoid as a jujitsu athlete. Worst kettlebell exercise number one, the American kettlebell swing. As the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this is a classic example of taking an exercise that's already great, attempting to fix it, and creating an exercise that's less effective and less efficient in improving athleticism for jujitsu. The primary difference between the standard kettlebell swing and the American kettlebell swing is that with the American kettlebell swing, you swing the kettlebell all the way over your head. Here are the problems that I have with this exercise. The primary goal of the kettlebell swing 
is to strengthen and improve the explosive power of the muscles of the posterior chain, specifically your glutes and your hamstrings. When performing the American kettlebell swing, you are then limited by the strength of your shoulders to lift the kettlebell all the way overhead. This often means that you have to use a much lighter kettlebell and aren't getting that much quality work for your posterior chain. On top of that, if your goal is to improve shoulder strength and shoulder stability, you can refer back to exercise two, the bottom up kettlebell press. Worst kettlebell exercise for jujitsu athletes, number two, the Turkish getup. Now before you all come at me angry with pitchforks, hear me out on this one. As jujitsu athletes, we don't have all day to spend in the gym. And it's important that when we're in the gym, we select the exercises that are gonna give us the biggest bang for our buck and help us be most efficient with our time. The Turkish getup is a really cool, impressive kettlebell exercise. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, it's mainly just a circus lift. The Turkish getup doesn't provide the same amount of strength stimulus compared to a kettlebell deadlift, a goblet squat, a kettlebell floor press, or a kettlebell overhead press. And if your goal is to develop top end strength for jujitsu, you can make better use of your time by selecting exercises that are gonna allow you to load the body in those particular movement patterns heavier than you would if you put them all together in an exercise like the Turkish getup. Secondly, many jujitsu athletes will claim that the Turkish getup is a great exercise for jujitsu because it mimics some of the movements that we do at jujitsu, such as the technical standup. And that is true. However, if you wanna get better at your technical standups, you can just practice technical standups at jujitsu and focus your time at the gym on more effective exercises in developing strength. If you wanna learn more about how you can get stronger so you can win more matches and get injured less, click on this video right here so you can learn more about the three-day training split that I've been using to help jujitsu athletes all across the world enhance their jujitsu performance. Catch you guys later. Peace.